Have you made your New Year's resolutions yet? And what do you think the number one resolution is? You probably guessed it, to lose weight and get healthy. Well, healthy food chef Cindy Avila is back to tell us about a new weight loss tool that is really helping big and then another resolution as well. Yes. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. see you. So glad to be here. So glad to be celebrating the new year. Yeah, I'm fascinated by what you're about to tell yes. us. I had not so, heard of this yet. How many people struggle year after year? They make the resolution, but then they can't stick to it. Now there's finally something to help them actually stick to their resolution to lose weight and get healthy and maintain it and it's called Orbera and it's a weight loss balloon and this is the balloon if you want to um, take a look okay, you can yeah. feel it so um, it goes in um, orthoscopic like through mm -hmm. you know your mouth and then they blow it up and it's a very easy procedure no incisions no surgery required and you can do it on your lunch break from work so okay, so this is truly an out of truly out, in and out outpatient in and out, and then um, you know it's it's really one of the more simple, easy procedures, and it helps you lose three times weight loss of traditional weight loss programs. This is the number one weight loss balloon in the world. The technology takes up space in your stomach to help you feel full. And like I said, stick to your diet. Most people lose 20 to 50 pounds without surgery. Mm -hmm. And if you want to take a look um, at the, the great before and after yeah. we have here, that's Mary. And she lost 43 pounds. And, um, you know, if, if you're at home and thinking, like, is this going to be my year? Think about Mary, and that could be you in 2018. And it can really. Um, well, this is so interesting. We were talking about kind of this weight loss and goal and losing. What did you say, between 20 and? Uh, about 20 to 60 pounds. Uh, the average person loses about 20 to 50. So I mean, and I think that weight group is kind of sometimes left behind. Those are the people that you feel like you're struggling. You know, you've, you just had a yeah. baby and you can't get rid of that extra 30 pounds. And this is just a way to, to really do it and not have to do it through major surgery. And this is about six months that this is? It's in for six months and then it comes out. Um, but the support continues. Orbera has a great coaching app that helps track your success. Okay. And it also puts you in touch with a dietitian. You can contact the dietitian from your home, your office, um, and you get that support that continues on and on. It's got to be key really for this. Yeah. And you can't ever think that any sort of weight loss program is, you know, a couple of months and I'm done yeah. for life. It's something you have to work out. And this makes it really, really easy for you. And that's what, you know, it, it can be hard to lose mm -hmm. weight. And a lot of people just think I'm going to hit the gym and then they hit the yeah. gym for a couple weeks know, and they get the gym membership and it never lasts. So um, go to Orbera.com to find out where to get the simple procedure. There done. are providers here There's in the Bay Area. Tons of providers okay, good. And, um, you know, go go to Orbera.com to also just peruse the site, check out more before and afters. And Fascinating. I'm sure you have easy. a lot of questions. Yeah, so look that up. <laughs> All right, let's talk about travel. So my, my other big resolution for the new year is to travel and to relax. We're also stressed. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of people say they, they want to travel, but then they plan these stressful vacations. <laughs> a vacation that's not stressful. Um, the 2018 um, uh, travel place of the year is going to be the Korean Temple Stay. It's a program that enables participants to experience firsthand the 1,700-year-old Korean Buddhist culture and meditation at a tradition, traditional Korean temple, which are usually in the mountains in a really, really pretty, serene setting. Um, and then I have to mention the food because I've experienced it. I've eaten with um, the Buddhist monks who are really, really yeah, fun, uh -huh. fun, interesting people. The food is vegan. It's really healthy. And it kind of puts you in that meditative, healthy zone. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I promise it's, it's a true experience. Um, and this actually began during the 2002 World Cup as a way for foreign visitors ah, to experience okay. because it was something kind of, you know, that nobody got to experience yeah. before. Now they open the temples and everybody can come. And um, it's been really popular for both Koreans mm -hmm. and Americans and people traveling from everywhere. And it's really nice to see their, their daily life. And I, I asked a lot of questions about their daily life and it's a lot different than yeah, ours, uh -huh. which when you travel, you want a different experience. So you go, you know, and it's, it's really, really fascinating. I can't okay. say enough about it. Well, good. Well, less than 30 seconds. How can yes. we start planning this so trip and go find to out more? Yeah. Go to koreantemplefood.com and uh, click on Let's Go, A Joyful Journey. That about tells you, um, you know, how, how great it is. They, it's a joyful journey and start planning your trip. Find out where the temples are okay. and uh, start looking at the beautiful pictures of where you could soon be. All right. Right. Sounds good. Well, if people want to find out more about either of these things, I know you're always on yes. top of the latest trends. Yep. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Chef Cindy, C-I-N-D-I, and I'll have all the information. All right. We look forward to seeing you again you. soon.